What's up, Kill 2 Technical? I'm back again with another video. <clears throat> and as you can see, today we're gonna do a little comparison. I have the TCL 20 Pro and I have the TCL 20 SE that TCL was kind enough to send out to me. And I just wanna show you some of the things about both of these devices. Uh, which one should you buy? Which is the better buy or which one do I recommend to you? So let's get started. <clears throat> so as you know, if you don't know, the TCL 20 SE is the more budget friendly device. And this TCL 20 Pro 5G would be, they say it's their mid range device, but I'm gonna call it their flagship device because that's their big boy that they're offering right now. So we're, we're gonna go with their budget device and their flagship device because to me, this looks like and performs like a flagship device to me, but that's just me and how I feel. <clears throat> so as you can see, the displays are very different. On the TCL 20 SE, you have I'm gonna pick it up. You have a bigger display, which is good and a bad thing. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. But on the TCL 20 SE, you have a thicker bezel, a lot thicker bezel. You have that a knot, you have a bottom, a bottom chin down there, and at the top here you have your camera cut out, but this is like a teardrop notch cut out. And on the back, this device is a lot thicker. It's a lot thicker. And you also get your fingerprint sensor on the back, but you still get the four camera, the four camera layout on the back. So pretty much that's what this looks like. So now let me pick up the 20 Pro. Okay, so with the 20 Pro, it's a nicer, thinner, <clears throat> sleeker looking design. You get your uh, punch, you get your camera cut hole right here, but it's more, it looks flesh to the screen. You get no, you don't get a chin. And with this, you get hardly no bezels. This has like a curve, a nice curve looking display. This is a lot thinner than the 20, the, than the 20 SE. On the back here, you get a nicer looking display on the back. You still get your four cameras. You get your uh, fingerprint sensor is under the display on the 20 Pro. And it's on the back of the display on the 20 SE. So now I'm gonna go over some of the, okay, so I know for sure this has a 6.7 inch display, which is nice, you know, I like a nice big phone. This has a 6.6 .6 inch seven display. And my thing is with this being a lot nicer and more like their flagship device, I wish this would have had the 6.7 inch display and this would have had like a 6.5 inch display. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying, if I were to make the device and what I prefer, I would prefer the better version of the phone to have the bigger display and the more cheaper version to have a, a little, a uh, lot smaller display, but not too much small. Six, this should have been 6.5 inches. This should have been 6.7 inches. Instead, you get 6.67 inches and 6.7 inches. <clears throat> Another thing, they, they both have your headphone jack. Your headphone jacks are on the top, as you can see there. Headphone jack, headphone jack. This one has the IR blaster. This one doesn't. And then another little gripe that I can say about this device that this device should have had, had 
this device has dual speakers this device only has one single speaker and just because this has dual speakers doesn't mean it sounds better because the dual speakers on this device one two are at the bottom instead of it being one at the bottom and then one up here for the mic there's two at the bottom so when you are uh looking at content or playing video games you're you're muffling the bottom you hold your phone like this so the sound is not that great even though it has two uh dual speakers now this has one one single speaker it sounds okay i just feel like this should have only one speaker this should have had dual speakers since this is the better device this is a budget device this is the uh flagship to me <clears throat> Some other things about the devices. Let me go into the settings and just show you some things real quick. And then there is also a TCL 20S or yeah, 20S. I wasn't able to get my hands on one of those, but these are the two that I have of right now. So I'm going to go to system, both of them, system. And I'm going to go to about phone. I just want to show you some things about the devices. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so of course, this is the 20, uh, 20 Pro 20 SE. Okay, so excuse me. With the 20 Pro, you get, I don't know how well you can see that, the display 1080 by 2400, um, if I'm reading that right. On here, the display is... 720 by 1640 1640 so of course this has a higher display than this one this i think this is also amoled i believe this is only uh lcd i believe if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section below uh this has the front facing camera which is 32 the front facing camera is 32 meg 32 the front facing camera on here is only 13. This has the rear camera. So you on the 20 Pro, you get a 48, 16, a five and a two. This one you get, okay, you also get the 48, you get the five, the two, and then another two. The storage on this one is 256 gigabytes of storage with six, gig, six gigabytes of RAM. You get 128 gigabytes of storage with four gigabytes of RAM, but they both take SD card slots, which is have, they both have access for SD card, which is good. This is running the Snapdragon 750G. This is running the a, a CPU SM4 250. This is a lot lower than this one. But this is not the highest uh, Snapdragon. You know, the highest is in the eights. But this is still okay for the price of the device. Okay, but this has a bigger battery. This has the 5,000 milliamp battery. This has a 45,000 milliamp battery. Once again, this should have had the 45 milliamp but. 45,000 milliamp battery and this one should have had the 5,000 milliamp battery but that's just me and on how I would rate the devices so as you can see on if you go pick these devices up on Amazon you have the TCL 20 Pro 5G costs $499.99 plus you know tax then your 20 SE on Amazon only cost I don't know if that's the original price but right now it cost a hundred and eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax to me that's a steal for a budget device it comes in it comes in newt black and aura green the uh se and the 20 pro comes in marine blue and moon dust gray and as you can see I have the moon dust gray and over here I have the newt black over here the newt black and another thing as you can see 
the 20 SE had uh, picks up a lot more fingerprints than the 20 Pro. There's a little bit, but not much because the 20 Pro has this is matte, then this is glossy, like is this is glossy, but all of this here is glossy. So you pick up, you do have a lot of fingerprints on this device. Now, design wise, let's talk about it. What design do I prefer? What design looks better on these devices? I'm glad you asked. So, if we were talking about this, the design, I would have to rock with the TCL 20 Pro. The design looks more sleeker and nicer than the SE, than the uh, 20 SE. I'm not saying the 20 SE looks bad. I'm not saying that at all because it's still a nice looking phone for the price you can get it for. This just looks a lot sleeker than this because this is a whole lot thicker than this device. And to me, this just looks more ple pleasing than this thicker device. And just like, just like with the front of the, dis the display, which display would I go for? On the front of, if I was just looking at the front of the phones and not looking at the back of the phones, TCO 20 Pro, because it's flatter, it's curved, it looks nicer to me. This has that thick bezel around there and it's just too thick for me. But like I said, that doesn't make this a bad, a, a bad phone or a bad display. It's just, I prefer the nice, thinner, uh, sleeker looking design in 2021 more than the thicker bezel looking design but i understand they had to do this to make this phone a lot cheaper than this phone and these are what the two boxes look like now they both kind of sort of have the same features so on the sides you both you do both get your uh you get your volume up and down, you get your power buttons. Then on this side, you get your Google Assistant button. Then, like I said, on the bottom, uh, the TCL 20 only has one uh, firing speaker. The TCL 20 SE has two. Then on the top, the they both have your headphone jack, which is good, but the TCL 25G, the TCL 20 Pro has the IR blaster if anybody is out there still using their cell phones to uh turn channels on your on your TVs then that's what that's good for me I don't really use it like that but it's good to have I'd rather have it than not have it we can uh now let I'm going to cut the I'm going to attempt to I'm going to turn the devices off and see what device turns on the fastest just because I'm doing a little comparison here okay so we're gonna both cut them off at the same time well they're pairing off and we're gonna see which one cuts on the fastest uh oh You can see I kind of felt there, but we'll still see. What let's see what happens. Okay, of course you have the TCL 20 Pro turning on the fastest because this has a way better um, processor in it than the TCL 20 SE. But this is no slouch, as you can see. It's currently it's currently a uh, getting booted up it's taking it a little while but boom as you can see it's on so let's both just turn it up to let's get into the device now let's see how bright they just turn up the brightness both of the displays well this is already turned up and we turned the brightness up on here to me, it looks better on here than it does on here. The notification panel looks the same. Of course, the blacks look more blacker on the 20 Pro because this has the AMOLED display. 
this only has the LCD display, but pretty much set up the same. Okay, that's another thing. This is kind of choppy. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. This is kind of sluggish. This is fast. See? It's kind of sluggish. Um, let me go into the cameras real quick just to show you the cameras. Boom. That's what the camera is looking like. They both, let's see what kind of modes they have. More. Okay, so the 20 Pro has the, the Pano. It has stop motion. It has light, light trace. It has super micro, macro, high pixel, slow-mo, short video. And on the 20 SE, it, on, it has Pano, stop motion, light trace super micro slow-mo and high pixel it's missing the short video and i don't really know what that's about we'll get into that later you know on both of them you get video mode of course a phone has to have video mode you get your portrait mode you get on here you get on the 20 pro you get the super night mode and on here you get a you get ai color i have to check that out a little later but they both have a pro camera mode they don't have pro video modes but they both have the pro camera mode now let's check out the front facing camera real fast front facing camera let's turn them around as you can see you see me behind the camera here uh I don't know. I guess this one looks a lot better than this one, but I'll come back with a little with another video on a later date testing out the camera, doing camera comparison. And I'll also come back with another video a little later testing out the uh sound quality. I just wanted to get on here and show you the difference of the 20 Pro and the 20 SE and if I was out in the market looking for a nice phone that didn't cost too much money, I would actually prefer you get the 20 Pro only because it looks a lot nicer than the 20 SE. And to me, there are a lot more better looking devices that have a higher, a higher uh, display rate than the... 20 se for budget devices i'm not saying don't get it but that's just me so now if you want to pick up a 20 uh, uh 20 se i'd say the 20 se would be for like an older person or a young child but that's it so just rate comment and subscribe to this youtube tech channel and i'll catch you in the next video i'm out